Hey, hey, happy people. Happy people. <laughs> Twelve hundred of y'all out there love us. Y'all love us. We have made it to our 1200 subscriber thank episode. Thank y'all so much. And thank y'all for going to MrStayHappy.com. Yes, we really do appreciate every last person that has purchased from us. It yes. is amazing to uh, see that you guys want uh, the seasons yes. and that you're liking them. We just love that. <laughs> love y'all out there like that. Y'all already know all 1,200 of y'all. All 1,200. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, so what are we going to make today, baby, for our All right, 1,200. Right we're going to do another sweet item, so we're going to do some granola because we need snacks in our house, so. Yes, we <laughs> uh, we're going to make some granola, and we're going to do an alkaline version of granola. So, we got two bowls here. Honey, you got the oh, uh, grains here. This oh, is no. just flattened kamut. Some people call it crack. Some people call it, um, uh, what is it? Well, it's cracked or uh, flattened kamut. Uh, show them over there in those things so they can really see how flat it is. Like, oh, want to pick some up in here? Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. These is flat right there. See. <laughs> so this is flattened kamut, and we're gonna use this in replacement of oats that usually would be used in uh, granola. And. Mm. Oh, go ahead, baby. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> the smell of them is just fine. Uh, then we're going to add some nuts and seeds here. This is about three uh, cups of cracked kamut. I'm going to run this right here for you guys so y'all can see that. And we're going to do about two cups of um, nuts and seeds all together. So, honey, for you, oh, you got right. your Brazil nuts, your expensive nuts. Them Brazil nuts. <laughs> you like them Brazil nuts. <laughs> and this is oh, a half a like cup. <laughs> she like them... <laughs> them happy with the happy nuts. <laughs> We're the happy nuts. <laughs> yeah, the happy nuts. Okay. All right. All right. So you're gonna add that to that. Okay. We're gonna gently pour all that in there. <laughs> and then twelve hundred. <laughs> all right. Let me calm down. <laughs> then you got your walnuts here. I did chop up the uh, Brazil nuts and the walnuts so they won't be so big in there. <laughs> all right. You got. Your walnuts here, this is one cup of walnuts. Walnuts. Brain power. Bang. <laughs> oh, are we ready? We ready. Then you just gently drop it like that. Oh, All right. We got, we got our seeds over here, and we have one fourth cup each of hemp seeds and sesame seeds. Seeds and nuts. We have a family. Seeds and nuts. <laughs> that look good. I don't want to. <laughs> do y'all like that? Check that out. So, you do this gently. All right. <laughs> All right. So, you're going to mix that up over okay. there. And right I'm going to start on this side over here. So, he is mixing all of our uh, grain, seeds, and nuts. And I am going to mix our wet ingredients here. I have tahini. It is room temperature, so it mm. is liquefied a little bit there to make it much easier to stir. I got some uh, mango butter here. We're going to use that today mm. in replace of like coconut butter. butter. I mean, coconut oil. You know, I had to do the reverse whip on there for y'all. I was waiting. Bang. I was waiting. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> I was waiting. All yeah. right. Yeah. Thank y'all so much. 1,200 of y'all. <laughs> then we got some agave here. Going to put that in there, that give agave, us some sweetener. That agave good, all y'all out there. <laughs> for the grown-ups, the agave's good. <laughs> for the kids, the agave good. <laughs> all right. All right. Now, I also have here some date sugar. Now, when you get date sugar, it is usually very clumpy and grainy and thick. I just post mine in the blender just to get it a little bit finer because it does not dissolve as well as the uh, agave. That's why you see us use that most of the time. But I do got day sugar. We just I always pulse it before I actually put it in something because it gets very it is thick. <laughs> All right. All right, and then here I got some allspice and sea salt. Give us a. Uh, 
sweet and salty flavor here. Yeah, all, which is like all spicy. Sea salt, all spicy and sea salt. Mm. What's going on here? National weather flood alert. Mm. Oops. Yeah. Red. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. Oh. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, so oh, got this all mixed up together here. So now, honey, you are going to drizzle this all over that. Y'all hear that? Mix it in. She said drizzle it on there. And mix it in well so everything can be coated. Okay. I can use my. Yep, use that. Let me show y'all what I'm about to do. Everybody right there know it. 1200. Y'all know like, subscribe, share. Yes, and always stay happy. Stay happy. <laughs> and don't forget to go to Mr. Stay Happy at Mr. Stay Happy dot com. com. That's M R S T double A Y H A double P Y. No two ways, it ain't me. Y'all know how we do it. We stay happy. I better go on and get them shirts with drizzle on. You see how I'm drizzling? Like this? That's fine. You're going to mix it all in anyway. Y'all hear that? You keep saying mix. I'm sir mix a lot. No. Our mixer. I don't even get <laughs> disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. Sir mix a lot. I can get all of that. Yeah, you need to get all that. <laughs> Give me all of it. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Remember, share this so it can be a lot more than twelve hundred. Y'all love us out here, and we love y'all out there. Well, they'd be mad at me in the chemist room. I'm just playing. There you go, okay. Good. All right, now you gotta mix all that together, get it all nice and coated there. We're gonna go the regular way. And then I'm gonna move with you. Look at that, that look good. See, that's the clockwise most. I like to use that right there. And then to put the extra, that's. I call it the best, the, the reverse whip, the mm -hmm. reverse whip. And you can see that over here, see that reverse whip. This look good. My mouth is wild. <laughs> can you get this on our uh, station? On our station? Our system. <laughs> on our website. No, you cannot. <laughs> but you can get it when we get to that million subscribers who wants to go to their house make them a snack too. There you go again. <laughs> Alright, baby, just good. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, see, you ain't whipping this stuff off the side of the bowl right. there. You said get the edges. Yeah. Right, Trying to be pretty over there. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing pretty but you, baby. <laughs> Trying to be pretty. What she got the line fine, though. Don't take that. Yeah, we got that, too. <laughs> Alkaline fine is ours, because that's mine. <laughs> Alright, baby. Alright. No, my granny used to make me get out the kitchen, but I could come back in to lick the bottom, the spoon and put my finger around the bottom. <laughs> there we go, baby. All right, now, so now we're going to add <clears throat> a few, a few mm. fruits here. We're going to add like these three first, and we'll add these after we bake it. Here. Okay. All right, so we got our dried uh, tart cherries that you know we like. Mm. You can dump the whole thing in there. There we go. You got our dried apples that we usually have there. I thought you called me an apple. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I called you an apple. Yeah. No, I was trying to say, hey, I'm a Pacino. Oh, okay. I don't, wanna, I don't know. Kids might be watching out there. <laughs> 
This is for the people. And the new one, <clears throat> new one on the scene here. We got some dried peaches. Oh. <laughs> those peaches. Those peaches. All right. All right. Dang. It's in there. It's in there. All right. Now mix that all together. And while I mix this all together, go to MrStayHappy.com. Well, they don't need to click on the video right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> My bad. Share this with your people, man. We all family out We here. only about 10, 15 minutes in. <laughs> mm -hmm. This look good. I'm going to have to regular stir this. Because mm -hmm. it's more heavy now. Y'all probably heard that, didn't you? <laughs> this look good. I smell it too. Alright, so you're all stirred up now. You're going to drop it on this parchment paper here in this pan. And try to spread it out evenly. Alright, look at you. You didn't even waste it. Mm. You said spread. <laughs> there we go, baby. Get all that. And the and this is my first time ever making granola. Flaked. That's what it was. Hmm. Flattened, cracked, or flaked. Come on, they are all the same thing. <laughs> when I originally saw that, I was like, okay, there's like three, four different versions of this you can buy. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just remembered that right now. <laughs> the smell. The brain power. Alright, baby. Gotta flatten it all the way down here. All the way to the edges here. Just take me back. To what? Back when I used to make them Rice Krispie treats. Did you? Yeah. Bad move, bad I'm move. This way, scoops on this way. Oh, I was gonna try to do that. There you go. Thank you. Teamwork make the dream work. <laughs> Stay happy. Um, there we go. I'm trying to get them lumps out there. Yeah. Everybody get a piece of land. <laughs> no holes. It's kind of heavy on this side, and light on this side. No, I was gonna bring it back. Yeah, do that. It looked kind of well. No, I'm looking at it from the top view. All right, check yeah, it out. Yes, skyscraper. <laughs> I'm looking at it from the side. All right, now check it out. Now, how much right. you think I should roll back this way? Here, let me help you out right All quick. Right. Just kind of lightly do like this. I see it too. Yeah, now you see it from the side. Mm -hmm. So really, you can slide this over there to cover up that hole. Well, there ain't really no hole right there, but... Okay, I got you. That looks good. No, it tastes good. All right. All right, so now, we are going to put this in the oven. Uh, our oven is already heating to 350, and we're going to put it in there. We're going to put the timer on 20 minutes, but at a 10-minute mark, we're going to check just to make sure the edges aren't burning around the edge. Yeah. And then at the 20-minute mark, we will uh, come back and flip it over, stir it all up and stuff like that, and then we'll put it back in the oven for additional five minutes, checking until it's totally brown. So, mm. all right. See, so you got... You want to do your movie magic? Uh... <laughs> All right, we are back. It has back. been 20 minutes here. Um, we did not have to stir for the first 10 minutes, so it's been 20 minutes baking at this, uh, just like that. And around the edges, it is starting to brown. So now, that we're just going to... me right there, around right its head. We're going to stir this up <laughs> and spread it back out, and then we'll put it back in the oven and start doing the five-minute intervals till it is nice and toasty on top. So just whip it up. Yep. With agave, you have to kind of be careful because it will burn, burn. Yes, it will. Oops. Like that? Yeah. 
Just mix it all up again. Oh, okay. I'm trying to be delicate. Let me get that side. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get too wild. The pan is hot. Yes, it is. I'm just trying to keep a straight face <laughs> when you touch that edge. Mm -hmm. I'll see what you mean. Get it all on the top. Right. Yeah. I'm not doing that right. Yeah, you mixing it good. Running my damn mouth, see? Mm. A nickname used to be Motor Mouth. Mm. No. <laughs> 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 Shut the hell <laughs> See, I did that. We didn't take that out. No, it's fine for us. I mean, other people just remember to check it, look for it. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> it get busy, y'all. <laughs> Agave works on everything. If you like us in our oven, this temperature, just do what it want to do. You can kind of like uh, drop the temperature to like 250, 300. It just take a little longer. You need to check on it a little yeah. more often. <laughs> yeah. so I'm a high heat type of girl, so I just throw it in there. I don't mind a little burnt edges. <laughs> yeah. Did I get all the edges off of there, though? I don't know. I'm up here playing with the food now. Now, you got the eye over there. Tell me where to stop. <laughs> Tell me where to stop. Just oh, spread it out. Should I get the mix all the way in there? You know what we ain't had in a while? That jerk. Yeah. I gotta get down to the, uh, the edges of the store to be able to get some. Ever since they started closing so early, like. Mm. It's an issue with me getting down there. Yeah. <laughs> and when I told a few people online where I got my mushrooms from, all of a sudden when I started going down there, they were gone. They were out. Somebody showing up buying all of them. Not even thinking about nobody else. Just selfish. Forget about the, st the happy <laughs> mall over here. Just selfish. <laughs> I'm going to find me a new place. I ain't going to tell y'all. And we know you 1200 mm -hmm. out there. Help us find somebody good. You know. <laughs> my Asian connects. God. God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, baby. All right. Spread all the way around here. And now it's just five minutes, right? Yep. Five minute intervals until we get a nice little toasted golden on mm. top there. Yeah. Damn, this look good. Alright, now we are Go going to now. That, that look heavy. Well, I think you're okay. Oh, I'm tripping. It's going to rise anyway because it's been well, in the oven. It's not going to rise. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to make sure that's smooth. Good, good. It does like the kombucha is kind of, you know what I'm saying, getting a little, but not like puffing, but just swelling just a little that's bit. That's what I was like. Yeah, it looked like I was walking like the pan. It's up here panned down right there. <laughs> this panned out <down> nice. <laughs> With the wap on it. No, just. No wap. <laughs> all, uh, right. all right, now I'm going to put it back in the oven. Five minute intervals until we get a nice golden uh, little toastiness on top to whatever you like there. Just make sure you try not to burn it on the bottom. You might have to stir it around a couple more times, but we'll be back when that happens. So. Happy people, all 1,200 of y'all out there love. <laughs> all right. So we're back. We have let it go for two intervals of uh, five minutes. And it is nice toasty brown on there. Toasty I don't know, brown. honey, if you can pick that up and show yeah, them. It's like kind of hot, brown. ain't it? <laughs> Smoking Joe Frazier. Hopefully y'all can see that in the camera there. I'll try. I'm going to do this for y'all out there in the, the TV know. world. That shit out. Thanks. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Say a little bit, a little bit. Little All right. So now we're just gonna add. This is some um, dried apricots. They are not completely dried. They still have some juice in them. So we're gonna add those mm. in there and mix it all up together. A little juicy in there. Juicy. Mm. All right. Got a little whap on that month. No, just... All right, baby. All right. You're just gonna add them and then you're gonna mix it all up again. So it don't matter then. No. Oh shit. <laughs> I spread that out. 
And the reason why we did not put the apricots in the uh, mix before we put it in the oven because they are not as dried as the other fruit, like the apples and the cherries. So we don't want them to just turn into like a mush. So that's why we put them in after we have cooked it. And then we do have some coconut flakes here, but the coconut flakes will not go in until it is completely dry. Tell them, baby. <laughs> Wow, baby. Because <laughs> we don't want to heat the coconut in this household. We don't heat coconut like because we know about the changing um, molecular structure of oh. the coconut. So we don't want to put it in while it's hot and heat it up. So we'll wait till it's actually cooled down completely. And then we'll add a little coconut flakes in. Yeah. Alright. I'm trying to put them in different areas this year. Oh, well, just mix it, honey, because you got to stir it all up in. Oh, shit. <laughs> So we're going back to the the sand lot. <laughs> Just a good sand lot. Oh shit! I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna spill some on the edge. I'm gonna eat that. Make sure it's good for everybody. All twelve hundred. Now through all the little quick snaps and breaks and all that, did y'all go up to the website? We're good. If you didn't, just go there next. MrStayHappy.com That's S-T-A-A-Y-H-A-P-P-Y -A -A -P -P <laughs> Hi! Not <laughs> to... I know, I was about to eat that on the street. Oh, tip. my it bad. came back fast. My bad. <laughs> yeah, push the thing back. Yeah, there you go. Get that fire off of me. Alright, baby. Stop doing it that way. There we go. There we go. Dang. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm going to eat that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, wait. <laughs> I smell it too. My mouth watering. Let me stand back, y'all. My mouth watering. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Even it out. Turn your spatula this way and it won't push it outside of the... Oh, this way? Yeah. Oh, I just learned some. <laughs> oh my God. Your flat, this flat part should always be downward. <laughs> like, that. like that? Yeah, like you doing it, but you pressing it with the back end of it. Oh, okay. All right, so. Let me split up that one. That is granola. That's how we make an alkaline granola. And we're just going to add some uh, to the mason jars. We'll fill mason jars up with it. And like I said, when it cools down completely, one or two, one of the mason jars, we will add some coconut flakes to mm. All right, now, honey, you can taste a little bit there. See how you like it. Okay. You want to get it? Well, you want a spoon? We can tonight. <laughs> All right, baby. Uh. Let me let it kind of cool on there. I don't want <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe and share, man. We love y'all everywhere out there. All 1,200 of y'all. Please, please. All right. Yeah, I'm going to spoon of this here. Mmm. Mm. Let me get a taste of that. That is nice and crunchy. Yes, it is. There you go. All right. Mm. It's not too sweet because sometimes vanilla can be too sweet. Yeah. Just sweet enough. Mm hmm. I want to have to cut that. Oh, well, I have to get. Mm hmm. All right. So. Oh, Noah, we got some granola. <laughs> Scoop it. Yep. Want me to go get the another one? Actually, With let me the get funnel. the funnel. <laughs> See that granola working already, y'all. <laughs> Brain got a Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's the mason jars. Oh, we got a good one. Funnel there, so it'll help keep it from dropping everywhere. And I still spill some, ain't that something? 
So what I'm going to do is this. All right, so now, make sure y'all give us a thumbs up. Like you said, you now have a version of granola you can use to put in everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, sprinkle yeah. on top of your uh, yogurt, your ice creams. Um, mm -hmm. Eat it by itself, because that's usually what I'm going to do. You can put it me. with your Cheerios out there. <laughs> I'm going to take me a jar to work so I can have some on hand at work. And... Uh, Eat it as cereal. Like, mm -hmm. happy hour. Talking about he's gonna get him a bowl of cereal while, while he's off the clock. I mean, off the uh, <laughs> thing. There. All right. Oh, well, fine. let me get you another one. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. So, all 1200 of y'all, I got a challenge. Like, subscribe, and share. Tell your people over here, over here, back there, and but it's my people back here. But uh, you know, all the people out there, man, we love y'all so much. Go to the mrstayhappy.com and pick up some, because I'm telling you, y'all. Alright, well, I'm gonna do these two small ones so that way I have something to take to work. Okay. Go uh -oh. show me, baby. There we go. Oh, we got something special. Coming up, we're going to tell y'all about it. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's crunchy too. Toasted walnuts. Mm -hmm. Then you get that chewiness from the uh, cherries mm -hmm. and the apples. Mm. Damn. I don't taste no peaches yet. Oh, I taste a peach. Okay. I, I should have put more of them in there. Yeah. Did I put them in? Yeah, I'll put them in there. <laughs> there we go. We love y'all so much out there. Everybody. All 1,200. We got room for millions, y'all. We got room for millions. Y'all know when we get to that... <laughs> Boy, oh. <laughs> put this in the All right, baby. This might get the mess before right here. We love y'all out there. We love y'all out there. <laughs> okay, at this point, I think you can just pick up your paper. Okay. And pour it in there. Mm, I'm going to let you do that all the way up. Well, it's going to be something left. I'm going to try that. Okay. All right, pick your thing up and put it right there. Get the jar. There we go. Teamwork make the dream work. And there we go. There you go. Thank you. All right, so now, there we go. We got three jars of granola from that. Mm. I'm going to have one to take to work. Happy can have one to take to work, and we'll have some here at the house. So, now we're just going to wait till they completely cool. We put them in a jar really quickly just for this video. Usually, it will just sit on the pan and cool off. Mm -hmm. But... After cool, I'm definitely going to put some uh, coconut flakes in mine. I don't know if you want some in there, but that would be fine too. I'm going to put some in there too. I think I'm going to put just a little bit more salt in mine. Because I want it to be like a uh, salty sweet uh, type of uh, granola. But that is it. That is how we make granola. Um, mm, what is it that we need to tell these people to do? <laughs> Stay, Stay happy. happy. <laughs> Right on.